meets and greets gamers and welcome to part I have absolutely no idea but we'll be going into world 5-4 on this part it is called part in which we go to world 5-4 that is how much I know what what Goombas are raining from the skies and they're hidden blocks and I don't know what to think anymore um can I get up here is there anything up there hard to say if there is, I... Oh wait, no, I think I was able to wall jump, and I was also able to Goomba jump, for that matter. Except I didn't do it right, and I don't think there's quite enough of an opportunity for me to practically wall jump, but... I'll give it one more go. Actually, I could probably make it on the other side easier, except for the fact... Okay, no, I definitely made it on the other side, and there is a whopping nothing up here. That's great for all my hard platformings. I don't really like it when the levels open up with a boring part that serves no purpose like this. And hey, look, I wonder if- oh wait, never mind, I was gonna say, I wonder if I'll possibly ever have to use a mini mushroom, except for the fact that it looks like I probably won't, considering... What is this? Two, three... Will it start sinking if there are too many things on it? I'm guessing. Although... It's sort of hard to say. Okay, one more Goomba fall down and I'll freeze you. Okay, that didn't work as planned. Okay, that didn't work as planned either. Okay, apparently it stops when there are five or more enemies on board. And can I have a star coin, maybe? Seriously, what? How am I supposed to get that? Am I supposed to have a running jump or be Super Mario or... All kinds of crazy crap, multiplayer, who can say? Oh my gosh, Micro Goombas. And those are building up the numbers fast. Luckily I can do something along the lines of that. Holy crap, I don't know if you ever did that in other games with Micro Goombas. I know, that makes sense. Do the thing that would actually make sense to shake things off, to shake them off. A bit of a controversial tactic. If I, what the heck? Was I, why was I supposed to know that there was a piranha plant about to fall from the sky? And why didn't that kill all of them? I guess they were jumping and weren't on the ground to be affected by it. And oh my gosh, I can imagine that every single important thing in the entire game is going to be up there. I'm still upset I can't throw up like in uh, Mario World. That's the one thing I've seen so far in Mario World that I wanted in this. And... Uh, I could have done that much better, I'm sorry. I'm not going to waste time, and this time I'll actually retain power-ups and do this slightly competently, I suppose. Okay, all I want is the mushroom. Giving me an ice flower and the ability to hide on top of stuff and snipe things is always good. It still looks like you're probably supposed to use the icy mushroom to go back there, even though I would presume you don't have to, considering there's no implication there's anything back there. It's quite amusing to see them all dance when there's a big number of them like this, actually. I mean, amusing in the loosest sense of the term. I mean, the little dancing animation isn't hilarious material, but interesting enough, and yeah, yeah, that's really what I meant when I said retain a power up and be slightly competent, just enough to get the star coin. Seriously, whatever, that made it slightly easier to rid the thing of enemies, and seriously, why is this game just like manufactured specifically to be as mean as possible to me? It's a bit distressing. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes. Oh, I totally... Trading a power-up for an extra life is generally worth it, right, guys? That was sort of funny. Stupid baby Koopa's not really warranting. Oh my gosh, do coins count, too? That's sort of cool. Stupid Bada... Uh, it ruined everything. The fact that I went bop bop and stopped for a second and danced threw me off. And 
I don't really want to edit this, but I will just give it one more try, and I think I will be using the same drops I was using last time because it gives me a full ice flower on the way in and gives me several chances to keep it if I need it. So really, I don't think power-ups are my issue here. It's just the level being really, really slow scrolling. Uh, it's not technically scrolling, it's just really slow monoxious. Yes, but I pronounce words very well. But yes, uh, this is not... I mean, it's an interesting level, but it's not really the best for a game, or a walkthrough in which I'm trying to do it quickly. And my stupid headphones keep having one of the channels stop working, and that is bad news for my headphones, because generally when they do that, that means they're about to break, and I got these relatively recently, and my parents think I have some kind of headphone curse in which I lose headphone, uh, headphones, headphones faster than I probably should, which is probably accurate, but also not really my fault, because I'm very careful with them and everything, and it's not fair. It makes my ears hurt so much when one of the audio channels just constantly, or not constantly, more like periodically cuts out. And no, I'm switching to Fire Flower, so they don't, they become coins that are hard to get rid of instead of, uh, platforms that are hard to get rid of and slow me down. That's what I meant to say, part of the first thing. Okay, whatever, I'll switch back to Ice Flower if you insist. Oh my gosh, you can freeze micro but that's sort of amusing. Uh, that piranha plant took while to drop. Oh man, this is hurting my ears a lot to only have one audio channel in. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about, and if you do, I'm upset. And also, have to rethink all of my computer knowledge, but um... Either way, it's bothering me. And seriously, piranha plant, is that how you want to... Be fair. Do I have to like just stay in random positions and hope that there aren't random giant carnivorous plants happening to be in the clouds in that particular area? I'm sorry I didn't do that already. Naturally, yeah, I'm sorry I didn't have the amazing reaction skills to dodge that while I was busy looking at my computer and thinking I was safe. You know what? Ah, oh, there's a thingy over there. I like these. I also like not having enemies. I mean, I probably should expect it at that point. Honestly, I'm gonna give this one more try. This is a stupid level, and I keep thinking that maybe if I have a power-up, it'll go faster. Why wasn't there a midway point for that, especially? That was just unbearable. I mean, they gave you plenty of power-ups, I admit. That really seems like it was a bit more fit for people who had multiplayer times because then you could have multiple people managing things and you wouldn't have to start the entire sodding level over if enemies kept dropping on your head. I have two hit points, that's not really fair when enemies are dropping from completely obscure locations and death results in like three minutes of my life being wasted. Oh. What are you gonna do? I like how you can freeze them in their shell, it's sort of funny. Whatever. I don't care anymore. As long as there are only four on the platform. See, when I saw this platform with the numbers on it, I thought it would be like it's delightful counterparts from Mario World and Yoshi's Island, in which some kind of clever mechanic took place with the numbers, but no, instead it's just, let's go really slow and then go even slower when the constantly spawning enemies appear. And seriously, I thought I had more invincibility frames than that. This is stupid and horrible. I will be back at the that stupid tube later. I'm very angry at this game right now.